Now let's get to the work of the day. At this point, I will accept a motion to amend the order that we will address uh, the Warren articles uh, coming before you. Mark Dekoff, I have a motion to amend the order. Uh, would you read it? Uh, I move that Articles 3, 4, and 5 be moved to the end of the warrant after Article 21, and that Articles 3, 4, and 5 be placed after Ar Article 21 on the official ballot to be voted on at the March election. Do I have a second on that amendment? I'll second. Do we have a second over here, Terry Noyes? Uh, Who would care to speak, speak in favor of that? Kathy Hope. Good afternoon. Please bear with me for a few minutes while I lay the groundwork for what has happened before explaining what has to happen and why. On Thursday afternoon, our attorney notified me that we had not sent her the district's warrant. It was immediately sent to her. Upon her review, she called back to let me know that because the Budget Committee's vote was not in favor of supporting the renovation, rebuild, and addition um, <clears throat> excuse me, for Articles 3 through 5, I mean 3 and 5, the district could possibly exceed the 10% cap on allowable spending. I tried to argue that bond articles are not part of the 10% limitations on funds. That was what I always knew about bonds, notes, mandatory assessments, and master agreements, and that these are excluded from this cap. Our attorney, in some exasperation, finally got through to me. The bonds referred to me, referred to in RSA 3218, referencing limitations on appropriations for bonds, is for prior bonds, such as the district has already sold, the Prospect Mountain High School bond. I have made a mistake of enormous proportions by my misunderstanding over many years of how to apply one section of an RSA. In so doing, you, as voters, will be asked to take action here today that may defeat what many of you have been working on for a very long time. You have been asked to move Articles 3, 4, and 5, the bonds, the geothermal, and the gym, to the end of this ballot so that, in essence, their possible passage in March cannot reduce our operating budget to zero. If this action is not taken and these articles pass, we could not open Alton Central School's doors next year. I cannot apologize enough to the members of the Buildings and Grounds Committee for my misunderstanding. They have spent several years counting on the bond moving forward to a ballot vote in March 2012. So what is this all about? The Municipal Finance Law, RSA 3218, limits the amount of money that voters can approve in excess of what a budget committee has voted as their total budget. Excuse me. For those who really need it, I do have copies of this RSA for those who might, might like to see it, and I will make that available afterwards. That limit is referred to as the 10% rule. Whatever amount the budget committee voted to approve, you see that as a tally vote, um, voters cannot approve more than 10% higher. I knew all about the 10% rule, and in fact, my assistant at the SAU office and I had discussed what would be 10% of the articles that would apply, and were confident that voters would not be able to vote an amount higher than 10% of what the budget committee might fail to approve. Unfortunately, all of this hinged on this simple understanding of the fact that the bond articles are include, included in this 10% cap. Had I known this, I could have recommended to the Alton School Board to add language to the warrant articles recommended, um, indicated in the passage of this article shall override the 10% limitation imposed on the appropriation due to the non-recommendation of the Budget Committee. Well, there were several simple, ordinary events that normally take place that could have kept the district from being in this place at this time. They did not happen. Trying to blame anybody or anything now will not fix this problem. Please be very clear about two things. The Alton School Board properly expects me, as their superintendent, to know these laws. They are not in any way at fault for the failure of these three articles to have been appropriately addressed. Secondly, the Alton Budget Committee is expected to vote on each article based on what members believe is in the best interest of the community and that is how they voted. Neither elected body has any culpability in this error. Please do not start pointing fingers. 
blaming either the board or the budget committee will not help this community, nor will you be pointing fingers in the right direction. This is a simple error based on my misconception of a law, and the error is mine. So what is the remedy? Unfortunately, at this point, it is limited. If you did nothing here today, and the three bond articles were passed by the voters in March, well, they are physically placed at the beginning of the warrant and then were placed at the beginning of the ballot, the Department of Revenue Administration, known as the DRA, which sets the amount of money on which your taxes are based, will have no option but to fund the bonds. But once we hit the maximum amount of money that has been duly and legally voted as the Alton Budget Committee's recommended budget, that 10% cap, which is $16 million, $743,568, but $2 million less than the bond, the DRA will be forced to deny funding for any other articles on the warrant below what that bond number is, and the ballot, whether it's approved by the voters or not, will not allow those, ballots to be, those articles to be funded. You will note that the operating budget comes after the bond articles. We could end up with no money to run the schools. This cannot happen. Two members of the Alton School Board and two members of the Alton Budget Committee met yesterday to discuss alternatives to this problem. I assure you, I know at least four different attorneys in the Department of the Revenue Administration spent time Thursday afternoon and much of Friday looking for alternatives. We are presenting the only option each of these individuals has suggested. At this point, you as voters hold the remedy in your hands. This is a motion to move all three bond articles to the end of the warrant and to the end of the ballot. Please vote yes. In this way, these articles can go on the ballot, but will not affect the operating budget under the 10% rule. Voters still have a chance to vote on these articles in March. Those who wish to support the bonds may do so. Those who do not wish to support the bonds can vote no. At least the option will be on the ballot, which is what both the board and the budget committee are trying to preserve. I am also asking that you please stay to the end of this meeting to keep these articles alive. I am so sorry for my lack of understanding of this rule. It is my job to know these things. I have wasted so much time of the work of so many people, and I especially apologize to the Buildings and Grounds Committee. This is certainly not how I wish to leave this district. You're a wonderful community with a great school full of the nicest, eager students. They are willing to work so hard a professional and support staff devoted to improving educational opportunities for students and parents who give the best they can to children. You will see how well this collaboration has worked when you see the kneecap scores. I wish I knew how to fix this. I don't. I can only do my best for the remaining time that I am here, and again, I am sorry. I do encourage you to amend Articles 3, 4, and 5, to change the language and to move them to the warrant to the end of the warrant and to the end of the ballot. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Is there any discussion about this amendment? Just the amendment to move them to the end. Please start by stating your names. Yes, Dave St. Cyr. The question I have with regards to this particular, in this case, RSA 3218A, paragraph 2A, why can we not take and add that to the warrant above the article as it specifies it can be done? In this case, it provides for the following wording. Passage of this article shall override the 10% limitation imposed on this appropriation due to the non-recommendation of the Budget Committee. This is to be located basically immediately before the article. If that's the case, why can we not do that and be, have this considered? Granted, I understand that the way things are, they really, it potentially could be at the end, but 
why can't the 10% limitation be annotated on the warrant as specified by RSA? That's a good question. Who would care to address that? School attorney. With your permission, Mr. Moderator. Unfortunately, the Can everyone hear her? No. 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 It's been one of those days. I don't know if you, have, you do have a copy oh, of yeah, it with you. If you look at paragraph 2A, it says the governing body, that means the school board, yes. shall place the following statement at the beginning of the warrant article. That means that statement has to go on the warrant article before the warrant is posted. The warrant was posted on Monday, but it, because that's the deadline by which it had to be posted. Um, there's no way to fix this, trust me. We have tried. We have contacted the Department of Revenue Administration. We have done everything. Uh, it can't be fixed. I, I don't know. I just I find that hard to believe, for what it's worth, that, and again, the governing body is in session right now. The their session, vote, sorry. their vote on this particular addition could, in effect, solve the problem. I, I grant it, I understand that the warrant's been posted, but this is technically, it doesn't adjust any of the language as far as the articles are concerned. It clarifies the 10% limit that evidently uh, a lot of people, and not just Mrs. Holt, I mean, I, I, you know, a lot of people fail to realize that this was the case. No, and I, I can appreciate that, and what you say makes good sense. Unfortunately, the law is the law, and it requires that language on the warrant before the warrant is posted. It requires the board to vote before the warrant is posted, and it requires the language to be on the warrant. Uh, so there, there's nothing that can be done about it at this point, at this meeting, okay. other than move those articles to the end of the warrant, as uh, the superintendent has indicated, so that you don't end up without a budget. Well, and I understand. If 